Saturday, the 25th of September, is a day burned in memory. A day when the lives of two innocent souls, five-year-old Lavender Wango and three-year-old Samuel Neritu, were cut short. This 500-litre water drum is where the lifeless bodies were discovered. Next to it lies a 20-litre jerrican, supporting claims that they may have used it to access the tank's opening. Its father alleged that the incident unfolded while their mother was in the house sleeping. <laughs> Ni kama mwenye alimtoa alikuwa anapita vyenye tulipika nduru. Vyenye sasa alitolewa, mi nilikuwa nadhani ni mtoto mmoja tu. Aliyekwa pale nje, nikaanza kumfinya, nikampanua mdomo ndio nimpewa, nikamwekelea kwa mgongo. Kufika mama Luze tukakaa kaa ndio nikaambiwa na daktari nimepoteza watoto wangu. Peter Kingondu, the children's father, say he was working when the tragic news reached him. Since then, he has found no peace of mind. Simu yenye simu ilingia, siku wa mini yate hiyo simu ni simu ya ukweli. Watoto wa merisho kwa maji. Sasa siwezi jua na siwezi elesea juu mimi siku wa. Relatives of the husband's suspect fall play. Kama watoto kama wangekufa ni maji, Watoto wangefanya nini? Wangefula tumbo. Lakini ile hosi walipelekwa na wamama wenye wana, wanaishi hapo wenye walikuwa nasema. Walisema walipeleka watoto hii hosi. Venye watoto hii walifinywa, ule msichana ule ule ameitwa mamangu alifinywa akatoa mchele. Huu na yeye babangu alifinywa akatoa chai. Si tuataka ile haki ambayo tunataka ni tujue ni, ni, ni nani ambao ni nini abacho hao watoto wetu almost three weeks before the incident neighbors say the detective handling the case, John Marwa, at Kayole Police Station, says that the pathology report shows that the children had no bruises but died from suffocation. It is alleged that it was asphyxia due to the presumed drowning, presumed drowning, wet drowning, presumed wet drowning. That's the cause of death at the moment. Police are appealing to the conflicted family to file a formal report highlighting their misgivings while investigations continue. Faith Anula, K24, Nairobi.